Hello, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. I have not played this game in a very long time, and I'm very sorry to the few that actually wanted to see me play this. I played it when I was a kid. I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. I just couldn't get back into the storytelling games at that time, but I'm ready to play all of them. I seriously am. I forgot all of them, and I'm sure that we started Season 2. I think I uploaded at least two videos. Okay. Start episode one. All right, so we didn't get anywhere. Chapter <laughs> episode one. All that remains. Start episode one. Oh gosh. I do remember the beginning of this game because I've uploaded it. It's saying that my choices will be randomly generated for me because I didn't play the first game on the definitive series. See? Brand new to the game. What did I tell you guys? This is going to be a brand new experience. Blind playthrough. Are the older ones slower than this? I don't remember it being this slow. We can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. So we just skipped the whole right beginning of the Where game. Where the hell is your humanity? Chill out, lady. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to... If you haven't seen the beginning of the game, I have two other playthroughs on this game. Me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. It's kind of rude how he replied. The fuck out, lady. Hi. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Um. It's just a boy. It, it's... Bully, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to uh... calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We kick his ass. That's what I'm. You don't threaten the kid, Everyone man. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing. I was anything. gonna say I don't like shut Larry. Up, and you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. I'm trying. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. I love how we Just stop locked. an argument. He's behind this. the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No, we're not. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> he could have just off the right there. <laughs> Lee, you slippery fuck. Come on, Lee. Come on. You gotta get up. You gotta get to moving. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Alien reference. I never caught that to be honest. Oh, my finger. That was loud. I thought we were trying not to be loud. It's not like I was going to die. I had it under control, you okay? as you could see. 
Just great. Yeah, I'm Thanks. fine. Nothing even happened. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. And see, this makes me think. Where are we at? Florida or Atlanta? We almost we died be because Atlanta. of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! So, would this be when Rick saw the helicopter when the. or before that when the. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. Light pills. Um, before that when Rick. Yes, or, we're out. We've when Fear the Walking Dead happened. Pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel, not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Yeah, you she's the boss. only one with a gun. Now get him those pills. Clementine, here's a candy bar. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you Gotta sure your girl doesn't eat. need it? She's I already did. Good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. With a gun. Good caretaker. Thanks. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That sounds awful. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. You'd the think a reporter would be thing. smarter than that. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. How? You're a reporter. What, were you born yesterday? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want. I feel like I got other stuff to look at. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Oh, is that a battery? Battery.
Sure, why not? She's having here. a hard time. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Oh, now it wants to look quicker. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. I don't know about that. How to make it look cool. Like you really had. My that dad I know. To me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> I just Don't clicked something. Need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies. My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Clementine's a little nosy. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? are dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. Might as well be honest, right? We're mean. already in the apocalypse. Look, my right, family's man. gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep it. Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt Splinter. my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. It's not a little, girlfriend. That was a lot. I'll find you a bandage. I'm stuck on Band-Aid, Brand because Band-Aid help heal me. Is it stuck on me or help heal me? Tell me now. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Find anything? I'm supposed to be getting Clem a band-aid, but apparently we're taking forever. It's a photo of the family home, 
this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. You're Folks reporter, around town know the owner's know. son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No, I don't plan to either. No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy. She gave us the, and the last thing we look. need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll find us. Uh, we're trying not to well, lie. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah. Don't get sidetracked. Have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we it can hurt. do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It's all good to go. It's locked. Bigger. Track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, um... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Good job at not lying, do we? <laughs> hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, of you are. if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take How does Glenn here. always get the worst end of the stick? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. A jog? Are we going for a light walk or a sprint? 